I feel like Austin's gonna lose a lot of police officers because if you're a cop and you're following the government, the, the government tells you, hey, Chief Manley, here's what I want you to do. I need you to murder and frame someone for me because the government says to. You're a cop. Did you um, swear allegiance to Bill Clinton? I, I, is James Comey like who, 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 you, who you work for? No, actually you work for the United States people, the American people. And um, it seems pretty clear that if you're working for the American people, then you should care about their welfare and you should actually try to follow the law and you should actually have integrity, especially if you're the chief of police. All right, so my understanding is Greg Abbott was in on it. And that's, that's pretty disappointing. But the thing is, he's a Christian and if there's anything that exists, it's a Christian. So um, yeah, it's kind of weird how I always think people are, are a part of us and then I find out they're not and I'm like, what? All right, so um, this General Nakasone situation where certain people blackmail Donald Trump to choose a person to be in charge of all communications, like all spying on communications. That means all wiretaps. That means like wiretapping the world, basically. The NSA's job is to um, intercept communications between people from different countries, especially international communication. If they can, if they can intercept a communication internationally, they're going to do it. They're not allowed to spy on the Americans at all, which obviously I proved that they do. Like my, my like their meeting with me proves that the chief technical officer meeting with me proves that the NSA spies on American citizens, which is against their charter. But they're the NSA. They're they're focused on national security. But um, what I'm saying is, there's a reason that I'm saying that I that I believe General Nakasone is the most powerful person in the world. It's because at his fingertips, he can access the communications of the entire world. And so when I say that I'm concerned about the the reality that Donald Trump put. Um, a member of the Japanese royal family, you, you can say, well, he's half white. His father was a traitor. Trust me, he's, he's an American. Um, you can tell me all that, but I'll, I'll tell you that if he has a brain, he sits there and goes, wow, these people did something terrible to my people. And don't get me wrong, I love the Japanese people. Like, I, I am like in love with their culture. I love teriyaki. I love how clean they are. I love how sweet they are. I love how polite they are. I love how gentle they are. Um, I love how they're actually, they're, they're, they're pretty smart. Um, I love that they're actually funny. Like I love the Japanese people, but that doesn't change the fact that a Japanese person probably shouldn't be in charge of the most powerful position in the entire United States. And so when Donald Trump got blackmailed to choose this man, General Nakasone, I was like, don't let him out of your sight. Don't let him leave the country. Like he should never be alone in a room with certain people ever again. Um, that was my response. But I also said the same thing about Donald Trump because I knew Donald Trump knew um, how to catch American hackers. And at the time I was in, with the NSA, I was like, I agree with you guys. We shouldn't let, uh, I, I agree with you guys. We shouldn't let people know how to catch our hackers. And cause I caught the hackers. And then over time, what I realized is, um, I want to stop hacking and I think it's possible. And the only way to stop hacking is to stop everyone. And so if the internet has certain rules, like when you connect to a website, like there are certain things it does. And when your computer connects to the internet, there are certain things it does. And when you're like, like, like when you're like, like when it connects to the Wi-Fi, um, like when everything that happens, your computer has like a, a, a method to it because it's coded. And so, that makes it possible to end hacking because the hackers have to follow the rules in order to get the, the data out um, or, or to almost end hacking. I mean, we're a whole different level of hackers. I'm talking about my organization. Um, all right, so um, what I'm trying to say is General Nakasone is the most powerful man in the world, theoretically, like if, if he actually knew how to use his power as director of the NSA. I mean, um, 
the access access to those servers, the access to people's computers, the ability, like like Edward Snowden said, he could sit there at his computer and hack the president and spy on his communications, even though he wasn't a top NSA person. I know NSA people, they say that they all sit at desks with no walls between them, no barriers. They all sit at the same desk, big long desk, big, big ass room, and they all share everything with one another. So when we say General Nakasone's in on it, and that um, I haven't decided if he needs to hang by the neck, he probably does. Um, I also mean that like all those people that haven't talked to the media because they're saying, no, it's, it's top secrets classified. Um, it's really hard not to hang you by the neck. Probably we're going to put you in prison and then we're going to figure out if we need to hang you by the neck. Um, because I understand it's classified. I also understand it's murder and framing someone for terrorism and there's no such thing as classified if all you have to do is go talk to a journalist and say, hey, I'm high up in the NSA and what I'm telling you is I'm high enough up that I have witnessed these people that murdered and framed someone in order to cover up for what they've been doing in the past because what they did in the past was related to me. They don't want me to come out. They want to be able to put me in prison and have, and have the media say, oh, that guy's crazy. I'm not going to even listen to him. And then it turns out, well, I haven't had the right to an attorney. I haven't had a right to know the charges against me. I haven't had, they're, they're, they're saying I, I can't have the right to have a firearm, even though I have a freaking firearm permit. Um, they're saying I don't have the right to free speech. They, they definitely say I don't have the right to access free speech. If there's anything you know, if you saw my GitHub account and you, you follow my GitHub account, I have like six people that follow me. No, I, I mean, no one follows my GitHub. No one goes to my GitHub. No, I, how many likes do I have on every single Twitter post I have? Zero. I never get a like. I haven't had a like for years. So all I'm saying is that's censoring my ability to access information. That's censoring my ability to access free speech. And I think that the reason they don't want me to access how many views I have of my music and stuff like that is because they're saying, well, the NSA is spying on him. If he knows how much we're listening to his music, then that will affect his, his listens and he'll become popular. So we have to make sure he doesn't get popular. So we have to force SoundCloud to not let people know that anyone actually listens to his music. I don't know. Maybe no one listens to my music. That's not the case though. I, I know people listen to my music. I know because it's just like I know people have listened to my, have read, have, I know that people have read my book. Why? Because I live in a world full of people I interact with. Like I, I meet people that know who I am and, it, and some people it's like, wow, it's crazy how you're like trying not to tell me and I know you know who I am because someone will be like, uh, I like freestyle rapping. Do you like freestyle rapping? Like someone like that. Like, I mean, seriously, that's like, like uh, that's like something that someone would say to me that makes me go, oh, wow, I'm, I, I am famous. Someone said that years ago, um, but I have no views. And so all I'm saying is everyone in the NSA knows that the government has completely destroyed the constitution. And when you join the military, which the NSA, a lot of it is military people, I know because my old um, roommate that I shared a room with when I, when I was working for the Department of Homeland Security, but not for the Department of Homeland Security, I was working for University of Texas, San Antonio. My old roommate, he was, he was a Marine and he was an NSA and he was like the guy that wrote the president's daily briefing. Like he knows Condoleezza Rice, um, or maybe Susan Rice. I don't know. I don't know. Um, all right. So what I'm trying to say is, um, I think we're probably going to kill a lot of people at the NSA. And I know you guys don't feel like it's your fault because you're saying, well, uh, actually, um, I know, I, yes, I was complicit in the Austin. I knew about it. I wasn't the one that murdered the Austin bomber. I wasn't the one that framed him. I just kept it a secret. Okay, you're complicit. So at the minimum, you're going to prison for a while. And I'm talking about like all you guys, like how many of you are there? Like a hundred probably like, I'm serious. Like where you guys can have your own little, that's how nice I am. I'm nice enough that I'll put you in prison together. I'll give you guys your own like prison block. You can have your nerd block and can you have computers? No, seriously, because that's the way you are to me. That's exactly what you're like to me. No, you can't have like, you have to understand. I'm like the sweetest person ever. If, if you're getting punished until I know how you want to punish me. And then I'm like, oh, your plan is to put me to death. Okay. You're, you're going to, you're going to die. And that's the thing about all, I, I mean, I don't think people understand that there's a reason the constitution was written the way it is. It's because people like Joe Biden, 
No one sees him coming. No one realizes this guy is secretly in charge. No one knows he's like, same thing with Bill Clinton. No one knows this guy is even involved at all. Bill Clinton doesn't matter anymore. Bill Clinton's got, no. That's what I'm saying. That's why the Constitution's written the way it is. Because you can't, because people don't want to lose power. Like people, like it's just like, for a long time, I really thought Barack Obama was involved with, uh, with blackmailing Trump. And now I'm sitting there going, how is Biden involved but not Obama? Like, cause I don't care if you're black. Like, I, you will hang by the freaking neck. I don't give a shit. And if if if, if Obama is in on a lot of this stuff, it really depends on the level of of involvement. Like, I will hang two presidents and the Supreme Court. And everyone's going, you can't, you won't hang anyone. You, you're, you're you're a joke. No one takes you seriously. Wait. Just wait.